Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am behind the camera today, so that's why the mirror's there. Today I decided to do a very different style of video. Today I am actually going to be cleaning up my makeup table because this is like literally madness. The other thing I want to do is I have all of my makeup drawers and I'm actually planning on reorganizing all of these so things are just easier to find and easier for me to use because right now everything's just shoved in bins pretty much. So I'm basically going to be cleaning off the entire desktop, uh, kind of cleaning everything up here. I'm going to be taking everything out of the drawers and then reorganizing it where I want the different items to be. So that is what we are doing today and if you are interested in seeing such an extreme kind of like vanity makeover then just keep on watching. Hopefully this is a good angle. This is my foundation and concealer and whatever drawer. Um, I think I want to consolidate all of my foundations, concealers, like setting and priming products all into this one drawer. So this will be like my main base drawer. Okay, this is everything I cleared out of the drawers. So we have like a setting spray pile, um, powder pile, foundations, concealers, primers. Um, this is like all my SFX stuff. This is what the base drawer got organized down into. I put all my foundations and concealers in this little tub. Um, powders along here, primers, and then setting sprays and like facial mists. Um, I'm still not entirely happy. Oh, I do have a couple overflow um, setting sprays right there, like my little drugstore ones. Um, I'm not completely happy with how this tub is looking um, or the powder. So. Um, I think I'm actually gonna, there's a couple in here I know I can get rid of. This one right here, the Pour No Pour Blum. Um, I don't think it'll focus. This is the Touch and Soul uh, No Pour Blum Primer. I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's brand new, never used. I'm putting that on my Poshmark. 
Um, I think the other one I want to get rid of is this cover effects one. This drawer right here um, houses all of my brow products, um, tools. My tweezers aren't in here, but normally like my tweezers and my pencil sharpeners. Um, what is this? More brow stuff like detail brushes and smaller palettes. I think I want to make this my lipstick drawer because this stuff, I think I want to move up to the drawer my foundations were in. And actually, I think I want to take this container and put it in a different drawer, but this drawer, I want it to be my lipstick drawer. I use this like rubber matte stuff that I cut up into little pieces to hold my acrylic containers into the drawers better. Um, this is just a couple bucks at like Target or Walmart and then the drawer like inserts I got from TJ Maxx. Okay, so I actually changed up what I was going to do with these drawers. I turned them into my lipstick drawers. So this top one has all of my bullet lipsticks. I actually had way more than I realized at first. I have so many bullet lipsticks. So all of my MAC ones are over here. We have some more drugstore brand, um, Urban Decay, all of my ColourPop Luxe Liquid, not liquid lipsticks, but my Luxe Lipsticks. Um, and then these are like Pure, Mary Kay. I think this one's a Too Faced one. Um, and then lip liners and a pencil sharpener. This second drawer I kind of turned into my, this is supposed to go over here, oopsies, um, my liquid lipstick and gloss drawer. So I kind of organized all of my lipsticks by colors. We have red, um, the bright pinky purple ones. These are supposed to be like more nude. Um, fun colors, we have like all of my JSC ones down there. Um, can't even fit them back in properly. Um, these are more nude lipsticks and then these are glosses. So that is how I organized this one. Now what I want to do with the lipstick or the old lipstick drawer is I want to make that my third palette drawer. So I want to put like all of my Morphe and bigger palettes in there, make this more my affordable palettes or medium sized palettes, um, and then make this like my smaller palette drawer if that makes sense. That way I have um, space and it's not so crowded because like half the time I can't even like open these um, and if I do see anything that I don't want I will declutter it I'll put it up on my Poshmark but like I said I did just declutter this like literally like a month and a half ago so I don't see myself getting rid of a whole lot I just want to make sure that they aren't as crowded and I have room
and my camera battery died so while it was charging I went through and I finished organizing all of the palette drawers so this is the bottom one um, this one I just put as you can see like my bigger palettes my Jeffree Star palette so like my bloodlust alien um, underneath here oh, I guess under these as well these are all of my bigger morphe palettes um, I also have my storybook cosmetics mean girls palette uh, conspiracy um, and then just some like overflow big ones that didn't fit or like didn't fit nicely in the other drawers in this drawer this is kind of like overflow um, palettes that I obviously want to keep but don't fit in this top drawer right here um, because up here as you'll see like these are all the ones I typically reach for so these are ones that I want to keep but I don't reach for on a daily basis so we have like all of my Too Faced palettes um, Urban Decay we have um, a bunch back there, like these are some like oddly sized ones, um, my Kylie Jenner palettes. Then this top drawer is all palettes that I typically reach for. Like if I were to quickly be going out, I would always reach for one of these palettes. Uh, so I have all of my Anastasia palettes, my Amrezy ones back there. I have all of my ColourPop palettes underneath the Tarte Man Eater. Those are all of my Nine Pan ColourPop palettes. Uh, these are all of my smaller palettes that were in the drawer with my brow stuff. So I have all of my MAC ones in here. Um, my Huda Beauty Neon Obsession, some smaller ones back there. And then these are all like my Melt Cosmetics, Dominique Cosmetics, uh, Lunar Beauty, like all of those that I love um, and would typically reach for. Which brings us to the last two drawers, my glitter drawer. Oh, I did take the single shadows out of here. Um, and put them right here. So these are all of my single shadows. So I think one of them has like Anastasia and the other ones are Color Pop. And in here, I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to be doing with this yet. Um, I think I'm going to be putting my brow items in here and then for the most part just leaving this the same and organizing it. So I think that's what we're going to do because everything else seems to be fitting nicely. This is the new and improved glitter drawer. I closed it and all of these like flew out. So I think the rubber material that I showed you guys earlier for the lipstick drawer, um, I think I'm actually going to put a little row right underneath those so they don't slip and slide. Um, these are all my MAC single shadows plus an Urban Decay one. I did declutter um, my other Urban Decay single shadows. I put brow stuff just here on the mat, um, more brow stuff back here. This tin has all of my glitter. Um, I have a Pinky Rose glitter palette. My Glitterly Obsessed from ColourPop. Um, and then here I have like all of my liquid glitter liners from Urban Decay, Too Faced, things like that. And moving up, I just kind of organized the drawer. I didn't really change anything about this. I just like organized my mascaras so they were straight. Same with the liners. Um, these are all my eye primers, glitter primers, travel size mascaras, and like lash glue and tools. Moving over here, I just wanted to show you guys that I didn't really change anything about these drawers. I just kind of straightened them up a little bit because I'm pretty happy with how they look. This one I actually recently reorganized. So these are all like my MAC blushes. These are MAC. Um, ColourPop, Kylie, NARS, some of my drugstore blushes over here. And then, of course, blush palettes back there. Guys, I am literally the worst at hoarding things. This is all of the packaging that I pulled out of my drawers today. So we have all of that. I already threw some away, but this is the remainder of it all. We are back to square one. Look at how nice this 
whole area looks. It just looks so beautiful. I had my MAC lipstick display up here, but I moved that into the lipstick drawer. So that was all of these. But look how gorgeous this is. Obviously, the lighting has changed a lot. This has been a pretty much all day process. But it looks so much better than it did. I'm so happy with how it turned out. So I know this video is a little bit different, but if you do want to see more videos like this or maybe like collection videos, feel free to leave that in the comments below. And thanks for stopping by. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me, helping me organize my makeup, and I will see you guys all later.